Here we go. Cheers, Phil. Another epic ending there. Thank you and oh, welcome, right. everybody. Oh. Man, that was funky, Pete. Did you feel the funk? I felt it. I I felt it. I felt I dealt the it funk. And then felt it. I felt it, dealt it, oh. and smelt it. Oh my goodness me. So. Sorry, I'm just gonna do that. Ebony <laughs> and <laughs> harmony. Uh, yes, harmony guitars. Oh. Um, they're not new. Um, no. In fact, they're so not new. They've actually been around for over 120 years. <laughs> um, yes, back in 1892, believe it or not, in America. And I'll tell um, you what, that's how long I've been waiting to play these guitars. Yeah, 120 I mean, years. And not an insignificant player back in the day. Uh, in 1930, do you know Harmony sold over half a million guitars in America? Is that right? Yeah, it was a huge, huge brand. Probably... Wow. 
more synonymous with uh, entry level. Kind of, they were a kind of like Sears and Roebuck, would have yeah, been yeah, a massive yeah. kind of retailer for harmony guitars, that yeah. kind of vibe. But anyway. Kind of, who, who, would, who played them back then? Was it just... Well, here's a picture of someone playing a harmony guitar in 1964. Ping. It's my dad. In oh. Andertons in 1964, not actually playing one, just kind of holding and, one like this. And you know what? If he was here today, he would ask you guys to please like and subscribe the video. He wouldn't ask you, and he, he would, would tell, tell you. <laughs> like and subscribe. He, he would tell and you. Hit the notification yeah. bell and um, then pop up banner with other videos. And, anyway. <laughs> and as you can imagine, uh, my dad has always talked about Harmony as uh, a brand that he fondly remembers um, from when the store first opened. Yeah. And so when last year, um, the new owners of Harmony, uh, who've owned it for about two or three years, um, approached us and said, would you like to sell Harmony sort of direct and exclusively in the UK? It was a bit like, yes. Um, you put stuff out there, man. Yes. You know? so, so Harmony had a bit of a, a potted history. So from, from, you know, almost like being one of the biggest guitar brands in the world, back in the sort of, you know, pre-war kind of era. Yeah. Um, they lost their way and I guess couldn't compete with what was happening in the Far East and went bust in 1975. And I think you'd probably be forgiven for remembering Harmony predominantly probably as semi-acoustic, you know, like sort of 3-3-5 uh, three, three, jazzier, yeah. you know, that rock and roll-y kind of vibe. Yeah. Certainly that's the, the guitar that's in the picture that my dad is holding is an old... H75, I think it is, which if you've got three hours to kill and you want to hear more about my dad, <laughs> I was just about to there say is that. an epic um, uh, the Captain Meets, Captain meets the, the, uh, Admiral, the Admiral yeah. <laughs> uh, video, which believe it or not, I thought about five people would watch, but like hundreds of thousands of you have watched and all made lovely, particularly, I think, particularly from men who maybe didn't talk to their dad as much as they wish they had before their dad had maybe passed away. It resonated a lot. So it's a bit of a tear jerkery kind of thing. Yeah, for some it people certainly is. Anyway, um, and at the end of that video, I, I give my dad uh, an H75, which I, uh, somebody helped me find that's exactly the same as the one that he's, same year, same everything as the one he's holding in that picture. Anyway, so, any, so you might be forgiven for thinking, you know, when you think of harmony, you think of that. But... In 2018, I believe it was, uh, a very, very entrepreneurial chap who owns a number of um, music brands, you know, publishing brands, software brands, but all Bad around lab. music, well, yeah, nice. decided he wanted to try and resurrect a couple of Amazeball guitar brands, yeah. uh, one of which was Harmony, and the other was Heritage, which we'll come to in another video. There's a song another there, day. isn't there? There's a song there. Heritage it's... and Harmony. Well, we will work on it. There's a man called Meng who mm. bought the three. <laughs> Even though there's only two. <laughs> yeah, two. There were other. Anyway. <laughs> um, two. We'll work on anyway, that one. Anyway, so we met this guy who bought it. Cool really dude. super, cool, super dude. cool dude. Super like got tons of energy, tons of passion. Yeah. Really wants to, to sort of um, yeah. bring these band, brands back to their former glory. And, you know, very honoured that people like that will, will look out for Andertons and they'll go, do you want to be part of this ride? And we'll be like, yeah, that'd be cool, man. Oh, so we'll anyway, look, all day long. So these are, this is the range of Harmony guitars, pretty small range. Uh, there are uh, five different body shapes of which we have four here today. So what are you holding up there? What haven't you held uh, up the single I haven't part? got the, yes, I haven't got the, what's that called again? That's so a we've, got a, Ju we've Jupiter. got here a yeah. silhouette, a yeah. Jupiter. And then you've got the uh, Rebel, and my favourite, probably, I can't pick one because they're all great, uh, the Juno. So there is there is a Comet as well, which is on screen now, which you'll yeah. have to wait is till another day to see. Kind of thing, yes. isn't it? With an F or like it. a thin line this is, thing. This looks like a Rebel with two horns on it, doesn't it? Like, <laughs> So these are, we're not going to go into too much detail about the guitars now. We're just going to no. jam out in a minute on the others, and you're yeah. going to have to stay tuned for another video where we go a bit more in-depth. In the pop-up banner, there will be but a link for the, for the other video. Long and the short of it when is these up. are all American-made. Yeah. They're all nitrocellulose finished guitars. Oh, smell it. Yep. They are all these gold foil oh. design pickups, which we'll talk about in a bit. They're beautiful to play, locking tuners, mono gig bags. So like really posh, posh Wait, mono the little bags. one. Show the little one over there behind you, Lee. Like, like a baby bag. There's, uh, yeah, that's for the little in, one. Look at that. 
in fairness, Mono, I, me I mentioned this this very entrepreneurial chap uh, who bought these brands. He, he owns Mono as well, so yep. that's kind of cool. You get that's like a cool. really posh gig bag with it. They're a couple of hundred quid for um, those, aren't they? It's a very limited range. Yeah. Um, not limited only colors. three or four colors in each model. And yeah. again, as we go through this second video, we'll <gasps> show you those. Rose. The gold foil pickups are all... Gold foil, as we recently discovered, is kind of what it looks like on the outside. And then underneath, there's different pickups on each guitar. And we'll talk about that a bit more. But yeah, so I just want to really, this was just an opportunity to give you the quick heads taster. Up. Like, you know, uh, yeah, heads up. Um, you can come to Anderton's to find out more once we're back open. You mm -hmm. can call the store, ask the guys questions. You can go on our website, see some more. But yeah, stay tuned because we're going to dive into the specs of these guitars Deep. in subsequent Deep. videos. And before we do that, Lee, I think we just need to jam out. I agree. And say thank you for watching this uh, fairly short video. Um, fairly short. It's it? just all about it's just all about the music. I Pete. just don't want to put this down, but I think I might play should I play the Rebel in this one? You what have you to think? play the one you haven't played. Yeah, well, the Rebel I haven't played and I haven't played the Silhouette, but we'll do that in other well, videos. In, anyway, I, I just played the Silhouette. No, right. Thank you very much for watching, guys. We'll see you soon. Please like, subscribe. We love you loads. Boom!